Okay, this is 11.7 electrical resistance, and this is going to be another nice short one. So it goes along well with voltage and current. Now we have resistance, which is the last piece. Those three together are the three really important pieces in these circuits. So what is electrical resistance? Well, we call it R. I'll just, oop. I'll just put that um, down here. It says R. And it is how difficult how difficult it is for electrons to flow through a material that's resistance so this is resistance, it's what it sounds like. It's how much a material resists the flow of electrons. And we have things called resistors, which we use in our circuits. And this is a device with a specific resistance. And on our circuit, it looks something like this. We'll have sort of a squiggly line like this. And the number of squiggles, um, usually the more squiggles, the larger the resistor. But we're not too picky about that. I mean, you just do a couple up and down. That is a resistor. Good. So for our resistors, we have, uh, for any resistance, we have a relationship called Ohm's Law. And this is one of the most important equations in this unit. It says the voltage in a conductor is proportional to its current And that proportion is R. It's our, our resistance. So the equation of Ohm's law is V equals IR. It's a super duper important equation. You can rewrite it as R equals V over I. It has, resistance has units of ohms. And ohms have this very funny symbol called omega. So these are units of ohms, and uh, this is the Greek letter omega. All right, we've got one problem to, to practice with this. Calculate the resistance of a load with a voltage of 25 volts and a current of 410 milliamps. Well. R equals V over I, and we'll want to convert our current here, 410 milliamps, which is equal to 0 0.410 amps, and then we can calculate our resistance, 25 volts over 0 0.410 gives us a resistance of 61 ohms. There we go. The last piece here is an ohm meter. It's like the ammeter and the voltmeter that we looked at before. It's one last thing that we can use to measure these values here. So an ohm meter lets us measure the resistance of an object. So this measures electrical resistance. And this must be connected in parallel, just like our voltmeter. Like the voltmeter. And there's one other really, really important thing when you're using an ohmmeter. The circuit 
must have no power. So your power supply, your battery, it needs to be disconnected. If you have any other power running through your circuit and you try to connect an ohmmeter, you're going to do some damage. Because the ohmmeter actually puts its own power through the, the, um, the resistor to measure the resistance. So if there's another source of power going through, it's going to cause some big problems. So that's our ohmmeter. They look like, like the other two. You just put a circle with the omega sign around it. And I'll just show you again a quick example of how we could use it in a real circuit. We've got our bulb here. Here's our bulb. Here's our ohmmeter. And is this good? No, it's not good because that power is going to screw things up. So I am circling this. I'm putting an X. We need to turn off the power. OK, that is how you connect a ohmmeter. That's it. I hope you enjoy the problems.